spent time with the Indians before he got traded. We'll get into all of that as we get underway here at Founders Park. 2-2 on the way. And Trice strikes out. There's the hook for Thomas Farr. 2-2. Inside and it hits Clark. First pitch tonight. 2-1, he hung it, but Seitler pops it up into right for Andy Gariola. Inning over. It's a scoreless first in the winner's bracket at Founders Park in Columbia. Ball stay through it. Kootenai hits this one well. Left center field. Seitler's back. And it is gone. Old Dominion adds on to a nation-leading home run total. And the one seed strikes first. Yeah, gets that big chain on. This is just a missed location by far. It's supposed to be out of the zone. It's a one-two pitch. And Kootenai doesn't miss it. That's his 10th home run of the season. Drives it left center. I love it. Stand behind. Good ABs yesterday. One for three with a walk and a single up the middle. And he gets hit by a pitch. And Old Dominion disagrees. <laughs> And I think that Old Dominion is going to disagree. And the reason is, is because Malone himself didn't even act like he got hit. Usually you get hit, you're going to turn around and say, hey, that ball hit me. Malone didn't. He kind of just stood there waiting for the umpire to be able to tell him, yeah, get yourself to first base. <laughs> Brock Galliardi is the Old Dominion catcher, and he popped right up and had something to say to home plate umpire Mark Buchanan. I, I didn't see anything that acted like it. I don't think it hit him. I, I think that. Wow. All right, so hit by pitch, <laughs> and Malone is aboard. 2 and Burgess with a sword. First strikeout for Ryan Moore, paging pitching ninja. Satterfield bounces it left side. That's Lavari in time to get Satterfield and end the inning. It's a torn ACL. Robbie Petrassi's got one, but he strikes out here against Thomas Farr on three pitches to begin the third. Struck out three times yesterday in four trips. Pulls this one on a line to left. He's aboard for the first time here in the NCAA tournament. That's going to keep your hands close to the body, and you're going to be able to stay inside of it. Bouncing ball toward Trice. And no out recorded. Allen to second. Eister is on. And here come the Gamecocks in the third. 2-2. Oh, he went back to the breaking ball. And more fans. Clark for out number two. Before the 2-2. He struck him out. Back-to-back -back Ks for Ryan Moore against 3-4 in the Carolina order. First trip for the Gamecocks in three years. Trice yanks this one down the line. That's a fair ball into the corner. Oh, this freshman can play, and Carter Trice has a one-out double in the fourth. <laughs> Two one pitch. Gariola bounces it left side. Khalil got screened by the runner, but gets the out anyway. Just 11 pitches. Thomas Farr is skipping into an economical outing. When it's breaking in on your hands. South Carolina is having all sorts of trouble with his breaking ball. Strikeout number four, and that is three straight for the ODU righty. The zone. So the only way you're swinging at that is if you're preset to swing. Wimmer doesn't miss this breaking ball, and he plants it in the gap. He's thinking two. Wheeler's throw to second. It's not going to get him. It's a one-out double for Wimmer. 
This one gets by Galliardi. Tying run moves up 90 feet here in the fourth. In the shift, you can see the three guys on the field on the left-hand side. And the third hit batter from Ryan Moore. What you're looking to do. This is pulled into center. Wheeler's got it. And this ties the game. For the time off. 0 oh, 2. He takes strike three calls. So Moore leaves a man aboard, but not before South Carolina ties it in night. 2 2. Cut on and missed. Far is fiery. He says, let's go. Oh, first pitch hits the helmet of Tommy Bell on a breaking ball gone awry. And we are hitting the quota of hit batters for this regional all in one ball game. Now, this is in the air. Popped up. Left side of the diamond. And Malone can't make the catch. Race to second, and Bell is safe. Comes the one, two. Wave and a miss. Good change up from Thomas Farr. Two away. 3 0. Four pitch walk to load him up. Battle doesn't get anything to hit there. 1 1. Came inside, it's rolled to first. Satterfield flips to Farr, who's out of trouble. Uh, he dances around danger, leaves him loaded. We're at the halfway point, locked in one. His first couple of pitches from Moore. And he got it with a breaking ball. Second time he's done that to Clark. One, two, three on five pitches. Uh, that's going to get you some wins. Up and in, and it hits Andy Gariola. In a game where we have two combined runs, there's a base runner on with two outs in the sixth. 1-1. One, one. Kootenay out in front, pulls it to deep right center field. Eister's back, and he makes the catch on the warning track. Ho, ho, ho. Look at the breakdown, 56 strikes, only 24 balls. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the fourth batter he's hit. We've had six hit batters in the game, and we only have four combined hits. Go around the plate and go to the catcher's glove. And a strikeout for Ryan Moore. 3-2. Burgess bounces it up the middle. Trice backhands the throw to first. Picked out over there by Kootenay. What a play. Hit well toward the gap in left center, and that will find the fence. Wheeler runs well. He will slam on the brakes with a two-out double. 0-2. Oh, Opposite way on a line to right, and Eister's there. Some damage. He pulls it into right field. You were all over it, Gabby, and it's a leadoff single in the seventh. Here. He's squaring, pulling back, and he got hit by the pitch. The fifth hit batter. More than 7,000. Allen drops it down. Moore on the bare hand, on target as well. So Allen does his job. Moore gets the out, one away, two in scoring position. Morris 2-2, two -two. check swing, and they punch the nine. Two away. Oh, I don't know about this one. I thought he had held up, and yes, he did. He definitely held up. Oh, boy. Inside ball four, and they're loaded. 
30th pitch of the inning is in the air. Left field. Battles there, and Moore escapes. As we go to the eighth, after seven innings from Ryan Moore, Thomas Farr back to work, and Kenny Lavari starts off the eighth inning with a single. For Old, Old Dominion. First pitch swinging, and it drops in. Lavari stops at second, and there are two on for ODU in the eighth. 2-2. Two -two. Galliardi rolls it to first. Satterfield's got it. One away, and it effectively serves as a sacrifice. First pitch swinging, skies it toward the second base bag. Two down. Three, two. It's high, and Old Dominion takes the lead. Is loaded, two outs, the one, two. It's cut on and missed. It's a strikeout for Sanders to leave him loaded. Finished the deal. Two, two. Cut on and missed. He gassed him. One away. 0-2 on the way to Wimmer. Strikes out, swinging. 96 up the ladder. 0-2 again. Burgess strikes out, and Holiday K's the side in order in the eighth inning. Cut on and missed, and hung on to by Burgess. Wheeler goes down by way of the K. Check swing. And he went around, according to Kelly Gonzalez. 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, right side. Wimmer. Sanders does his job. Can the bats do there? It starts with Satterfield. He's using that fastball, and he's using it a lot. Satterfield lofts it short center. Wheeler calls for it and catches it. One down. Line shot, and it's caught at first. Kootenay for the second out. I've only seen one slider. Everything else has been a fastball. And that one hits Allen. It's the sixth South Carolina hitter to be hit by a pitch. Against Andrew Eister. It pops out of the mid of Galliardi. Tying run to scoring position as Allen advances. The 2 2. Caught and missed! 